Greetings, Health Scholars, and welcome back to the For Health Scholars channel. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. My name is Dr. Robusa, and on this channel, I show current and aspiring healthcare scholars how to, one, quickly and successfully earn their degrees, and two, how to start, build, and enjoy profitable careers within the business side of the healthcare industry. Now, today we are talking about the job role of a health information management systems analyst. And I think this is a great opportunity for someone who is interested in the tech arena of the healthcare industry. And all this week, I have been talking about different positions that explores um, what you can work in as a tech professional in the healthcare space. But before I jump into today's conversation, here's a few words from our sponsor. Greetings, health scholars. Today's episode is sponsored by my course, which is titled From Healthcare Graduate to Hired. Are you a professional looking to work in the healthcare industry? Or are you a current healthcare professional looking to pivot into a different sector of the healthcare industry? If you answered yes to one of the two questions I just asked, guess what? This course is right for you. In the For Healthcare Graduate to Hire course, it is a 90 minute video program. So yes, I kept it short and sweet, but I've loaded it with a lot of information, including give you a detailed strategy, as well as actionable steps for implementation that will help you go from healthcare graduate to job seeker to hire. In addition, I'm sharing my experiences of working in various healthcare positions, as well as the strategies I have given over 100 plus professionals that have helped them land their first, next, or even dream healthcare job. Now, what can you expect inside of this course? We're going to talk about everything from preparing your job hunting strategy down to finding the right healthcare job for you. In addition, I'm giving away a few course bonuses, which includes access to an exclusive recruiter directory. So we're giving you the name and contact information to healthcare recruiters who you can work with to help land your next healthcare job. In addition, you're going to get access to the For Health Scholars job board, as well as a live Q&A session with me, Dr. Arobasa, to answer any questions you may have. So I hope this sounds good to you. And if you are a job seeker who've been applying to healthcare jobs within the last six months without any response, guess what? This course is right for you. To sign up, you can access the link in the description box. And if you have questions, you can also contact me at forhealthscholars at gmail.com. I hope this is helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the course. All right, welcome back. So I see a few of you have joined in. I am actually very live tonight. So if you have questions or if you want to say hello, please feel free to do so by dropping your questions in the comment section or the live chat box, or um, you can just wave hi, hello. But if you have questions, I'm more than happy to answer your questions live tonight. All right, so let's jump into today's conversation. So as I stated, today we're going to talk about the job role of a health information management systems analyst. And if you are interested in going into the tech side of healthcare, this may be a role that may be just right for you. So let's get into the conversation. Now, do note that health information really serves as the lifeline of health organizations these days. When we think about just the beginning and days of medicine in like the late 1700s to early 1800s um, to now, the way we deliver medical care is far different than how we did it in the early 1800s. And in 2022, we heavily rely on technology. So if you are a person where you're like, okay, I'm not sure, I'm interested in tech, I like computer sciences, I like health information management or just information management, then once again, knowing how health information is used in the healthcare industry is key. And it's really the lifeline of any organization that you find to date in the healthcare space. Now, what is a health information management systems analyst? I know that is a lot to say in one sentence, but their role is quite fun. I think it's a, a role that is very doable. But in this role, you are a person who assess the operational needs of a healthcare organization by using data. And so all this week, um, the last couple of videos that I have posted has been really aimed on just showing you the versatility of working in the healthcare space, particularly in the tech space and healthcare. 
care. And so if you are a person who's really good with um, understanding the operational needs of a healthcare organization, as well as having insight about information technology and how to manage that information digitally, then this could be, could be a role that you explore. So now do note as a HIMSS systems analyst to kind of shorten it a little bit, they really help C-suite leaders understand the operational and the physical health of their organization. When I say physical, it's just another way of saying financial, the financial health of the organization. We know by now that the healthcare industry is a business. We're just like any other business, we really depend on revenue to help the business move forward. But what makes us really unique compared to other industries is that we're in the business of serving patients really at their greatest point of need, whether they're needing care because they're really sick or they're bringing a new life into the world. As a healthcare industry, we are really focused on just showing up for patients at their greatest point of needs. We oftentimes do not know these patients before we meet them. And when they leave our facility, they go back to their world. But in the time that they're in a healthcare facility, they're really depending on us as healthcare professionals to go above and beyond to give them the care that they need. And so in this role as a HIM systems analyst, you are in constant conversation with C-suite leaders to help them understand what is really happening in the organization day by day through the use of health information, technology, and health data. Now let's talk about the health information management systems analyst areas of focus. So in their role, they're doing multiple things. So they definitely have to be a great multitasker. But the first thing, of course, they're gathering various types of data. So if you tuned into the health informatics video, um, the electronic health record specialist video, I talked about how their jobs heavily depend on access of patient information. Whereas in this role, the health information management analyst systems, I mean, systems analysts, they're gathering all types of information. So it can come from patient charts. It could come from the financial records of the organization. It can come from just a survey that they completed as their customer satisfaction survey, those results. So the type of data that they're collecting varies in this role, but also they are meeting with executives on a frequent basis. So if you are a person who strives to be in executive leadership, I will say, then this is a great role to kind of get your foot in the door. If you eventually would like to be in an executive leadership position, networking and constantly showing up and engaging with executive or C-suite leaders, that can help you. But in this role, you're really Really having these conversations because as executives, they're always strategic planning. They're always trying to see what is next. How do we move this organization forward? And the health data that we generate, whether it's from financial reports, from invoices, from patient charts, really gives us a great snapshot of what's happening in the organization on a day-by-day -day basis. Outside of that, they're also maybe responsible for educating and training staff members on how to collect better data, okay? So once again, their role requires them to frequently be multitasking. You have to keep that in mind. Also, in their role, they're creating reports and they're presenting this information even to external stakeholders. So in this role, it's a lot of conversations and a lot of meetings with different parties, but the core goal of these meetings is to show how do we improve the quality of care? How do we also drive the healthcare industry and this particular organization forward. So keep those things in mind. Now, as a health information management systems analyst, you need to have great communication, great public speaking skills, and great clinical information knowledge. Those three things are key, and here's why. When we explore the job description of this role, the first thing that you'll see here is that they really have to be in charge of evaluating medical data. And in order to evaluate this data, they have to be really good at asking, can they collect this data? So you, if you are a person who is um, kind of shy, um, don't really introvert it in the sense of you don't really like to interact with individuals, you prefer to work in roles 
that have minimal talking and maybe a lot of communication digitally, then this role may not be right for you. But if you are a person who's like, oh, this sounds amazing, then do note that you are really taking the lead on evaluating medical data and showing the organization and other businesses that this organization may interact with, partner with, collaborate with, or even their competitors, how to improve the quality of care that is delivered in these different facilities. How do we create this competitive advantage? How do we um, stand out compared to our competitors? And I'd like to share this story with you. So um, when I moved to Texas, I started in Houston. I worked in the hospital as a trainer. And in that role, it allowed me to really just assess the healthcare system in the Houston region. And they had this area called the, like, the medical center in which it is like a neighborhood or a zip code of really just healthcare businesses. If they had any residential housing, usually those individuals would be um, employees of the different hospitals that were next door to each other. Now, in your role as a health information management systems analyst, you have to collect data, not only from your organization, but from your competitors and showing how the organization that you work with or you're contracted for, how they can continuously be ahead of their competition. Because once again, the healthcare industry is a business. So you have to keep that in mind. This is very much a leadership type of driven um, position in an indirect way, but you are often conversing with executive leaders. You have to have great written and verbal communication skills. You have to be highly analytical and be really good with numbers because a lot of the reports that you're pulling also has financial figures that needs to be interpreted, right? Um, for those of you who are has done a master's program or even a doctoral program or doing a doctoral program, statistics is a big part of what the research that you conduct. And being able to, to look at figures and then interpret those figures and then give us a narrated report of what those figures mean it plays a big role in the health information management system space. And then having a solid understanding of data management systems. Okay, so this is where the tech aspect comes into play, being abreast of healthcare procedures and analysis tools as well. Now, some of the responsibilities of a HIM systems analysis, so I don't get tongue tied just saying it often, right? Of course, they have to develop an effective record keeping procedures because collecting data, you have to have some type of system of organization. So you can't just say, I'm collecting this kind of data, but how are you storing this information? Because once again, you are dealing with um, highly confidential information. Patient information is very confidential. It is protected, it's protected by HIPAA. It it has its patient privacy laws and guidelines that all health systems and um, organizations have to put in place. So you're not just handling information in a random way. So always keeping at the forefront, how are we going to protect this information? Um, how is it we're going to look at cost evaluation? That's another thing to keep in mind, being able to present. So this is a public speaking type of role. And if you're good at articulating the what you see in the reports and sharing that information out, then you'll be really great in this role. Then preparing policies. And so somebody asked the question, let me just see here, I'm going to put it up on the screen. Um, Masang says, is this like a policy analysis? To a certain extent, um, the difference is with policy analysis, your core focus is just policies and how do you create policies, how to change policies, how to revise policies and implement policies. In this case of a health information management systems analyst, they may deal with policies, but their core goal is about data. It's getting this raw data from patient charts, from financial reports, and how does that translate in helping the organization improve its business operations to become more efficient? Whereas policy analysts, they're focusing on policies that can also create efficiency, but they're not having the IT aspect of it. If if I can answer that question in layman's terms, it's really, there's no, as a policy analyst, you, you're not mandated to know how to access patient charts and um, be careful with patient information to the extent 
as a hem systems analyst. So I hope that answers your questions. Masang, I hope I said that correctly. All right, she says, thanks. Okay, well, th thank you for joining um, the session. I hope it's very informational to you. And then um, as I stated, as well in this role, you may have to do regular site vid visits, especially if you have an organization that has multiple facilities, you may have to go to these facilities to personally retrieve this information or personally train people on how to collect collect better data. Now, here are the common skills that you must possess as a health information management systems analyst. Of course, being abreast of medical terminology, that is key. Having great data management and analytical tools that you can use or also reference and even suggest in your role. Financial management practices is key. Being analytical and even having a great mastery of math. <laughs> this is definitely important in this role. And of course, great communication and presentation skills. Now the educational requirements, because I know for many people they're like, okay, how do I start a position in, or in the health infant management space? Or how do I pivot if you're currently working in the healthcare industry, but you're now interested in exploring in tech? Well, in this role, you at minimum should have a bachelor's degree. Some people will tell you it's not necessarily required but in this day and age where there's so much competition and so many people vying for jobs, the more uh, perks that you have, the more likely you present yourself as a very competitive candidate. So if you have a bachelor's degree, I am, if I'm the hiring manager for and just what I've seen in practice, we're going to lean more towards the person who has the formalized educational requirements under their belt compared to someone who does not. But in the health information management space, because this is one type of role, health information management can be applied in various industries. But in healthcare, we really, um, favor individuals who have been formally trained in the space of healthcare because we're dealing with high clients, high clientele, people who are really trusting us to make life and death decisions for them for their health so that they can go back out and live their lives. So having a bachelor's degree is something I highly recommend, although you may find some roles that says you don't need it. But if you don't have a bachelor's degree, and it doesn't mean that all is lost. You can get certifications. Now, if you are an individual who's pivoting in this role, and you may have, for example, a health administration degree, a healthcare um, management or public health degree, how you can pivot is through certifications. And I have a video out on certifications, and I named a few there, but certifications can really help you in your transition. So you didn't get a computer science degree, but you have the cert in computer science analytics, then that also will allow you to qualify for the role. Okay. So these are some of the certifications that I found can be really useful in this particular role. So check them out if you're interested in it, but you don't have a bachelor's in like computer science or health information, I mean, information management, et cetera. All right, then here are some alternative job names for this particular role. So if you are a person who says, I, I pretty think I qualify for it, but um, when you're looking for job opportunities, it's not just the HIM systems analyst. As you know, it's kind of long in nature. So this same role can be titled as healthcare data analyst, quality audit analyst or data modernization analyst. So I just want to give you some options when you are searching that you're not like counting as like there's no jobs out there because they're not titled health information management systems analyst. They even have, if you get certified in certain softwares like Epic, they have an Epic analyst, okay? And certifications really can help you when it comes to negotiating your pay. So keep that in mind as well. And I'm going to talk about that shortly. And when we think about the average salary of a health information management systems analyst, it is on the lower side when you don't have a certification. So um, it can it has its pros and cons. A lower income tier makes it a little easier for a person who is looking to transition into this field to work in this role as an entry level position. 
right? Um, but of course, as the more experience you get, the higher uh, ability for you to negotiate a higher salary. And so with just having a health information system analyst degree with no certifications attached, the average salary is about $67,000. On the lower end is about $45,000. On the upper income tier is about $72,000. But if you watch my negotiation videos, there's two parts to that video, um, to that, I guess, topic of no salary negotiations. I told you that if you do a little research and you really use your resume by writing it in a way that really articulates your skills and experience, you can negotiate a top dollar that is appropriate for you and that what you can accept. Now, if you have some certifications, here's where you start to make the big dollars. So for example, you get certified in Oracle. Oracle is a big IT certification, but if you get certified there, that helps you increase your earning potential. So keep that in mind. So if you have a certification, the average salary is about 77,000. Um, the upper income tier, you can make well into the six figures, but it's all about experience, skill sets, and how well you negotiate your worth <laughs> and, what, and what you can do for the organization. Now, what are the type of organizations that hires, oh, they mean to say medical billing and coded, just disregard that. I'm talking about HIMSS analysts, but um, organizations like hospitals, outpatient facilities, healthcare, and IT consulting firms definitely hire him analysts, um, federal and governmental agencies. And I want to talk about that for just a second. So if you are a candidate and you've just been looking at like or organizations that are a part of large healthcare systems, that's cool, but also explore governmental agencies. And I, I think I had a subscriber ask me a question yesterday that um, does the federal government have healthcare jobs? And my answer is yes. Um, the a federal agency that we know of is the um, the Federal Health Department, all right? So the Health and Human Services Department, that's a federal agency, it's just our Federal Health Department. And they often are in need of analysts like who specialize in health information management and technology. So don't just close out your options and think that, oh, I just need to work in the hospital or I need to work at a clinic. No, you have federal agencies like the government, like the Federal Health Department, um, even not-for-profit organizations, depending on um, their expertise and their focus, you, your skills, and this is not just for information technology, but as a healthcare management, administration, public health professional, nursing, um, the different roles. So just when you're searching for jobs, if you are an active job seeker, explore those options as well. And you will find that you will see a lot of more jobs in the healthcare space when you're not just only looking in the hospital or looking at the clinic for an opportunity. Now, the biggest question, the million dollar question is, is health information management systems and its list position right for you? And you really have to do some self-reflection and just assessing everything that you have under your belt, your skills, your education, the certs that you may acquire, all of that is key and making a decision on whether this role is for you. But if I had to give you an answer, if you're a person who has great analytical data skills and you're well-versed on systems and have great communication skills, public speaking skills, can present really well, um, can solve problems, can provide solutions to the problem, especially as it relates to the space of data and technology, then this role may be right for you. So that is all that I have for today's conversation. I do see that there's still a few people on. So if you have a question, please feel free to drop it in the live chat section. I'll pull it up and answer it. But if you don't, I just wanted to, as always, thank you for watching today's live video. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this with someone you know who needs it. And until next time, because I'll be back tomorrow, <laughs> um, we'll just bye for now. All right, so does anyone have any questions? I don't think, I don't see anything in the queue. 
All right. Well, if you don't have any questions, have a great night. Thank you for joining me live. I'm going to try to come on live more often just to kind of connect with you because I, I get a lot of questions and the, like the description boxes. So I just want to give you an opportunity to answer, so answer those questions live for you. So I'll make sure to post like on the community side when I'm coming on live, just in case you like, you need to speak to me. And this is a perfect way to speak to me. But uh, Masan says, thank you so much. This has been very informative. Perfect. Thank you for joining. And until next time, bye for now.